Hi, my name is Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So if you go to remoteview.icu and go to Vega Bagel Mania, uh, down here you can see that I have uploaded a deep zoom image. Uh, this is at 40,135 by 32,935 pixels by 16-bit depth and it's a compressed 4.4 gigabyte download and you can download the PC viewer here or maybe someone can upload it and uh, have an open Sea Dragon uh, web-based uh, viewer version of it available for others to use but anyway if you are have access to a PC you can use this and it looks like this and uh, this is the tiled image of uh, something like I guess uh, 4.6 uh, gigabytes of data and down the bottom here you have a contrast control so you can adjust the contrast post um, and you can do that and sort of pull out the data and then using your mouse wheel you can zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and look around the uh, SEM and see what you can find in the data and maybe you can find some very very interesting structures things for us to discuss it's a lot of data in one image and if this works then I might do this in other microscope sessions so people can explore these large data sets and highlight things for further review on another subsequent session and like I say you can like I say we can adjust the contrast here so maybe we can pick out things that weren't necessarily spotted the first time round uh, but you can see that it is a very large amount of data uh, and you, you may be able to learn uh, things and feedback into the community um, hypothesis for what you think are going on in various areas and how the plasmoids were interacting with the surface and uh, whether um, there are uh, uh, things that we can learn uh, as a community uh, from what seems to have happened to this area of the eastern plateau of the Vega Valley. Here you can see the substrate. This is the brass here. And uh, if I just adjust that, you can get a bit of contrast. So this is the original brass, and this is the mostly zinc oxide that's been deposited on the top. So this is uh, quite a nice substrate to look for uh, different things that have been deposited on there. Um, and this is actually a free viewer from Phenom Image, uh, the company that makes the microscope. And so let's go and have a look over here. Let's have a look in this area here. So we dive into this area here. We can see uh, two very large, well, there's a large crenellated sphere here. Now, it actually has some positions here uh, down in the bottom left and uh, other data here over here and so maybe there's things that people can learn from that as well what is that is that that a, a distorted crenellated sphere that's the first time I've seen that if that's the case it does look like it this looks like maybe so that's that's your normal sphere here but this is more maybe more of a pill shape or one that's kind of partially unwrapped itself I'm literally just making this discovery right here as I'm trying to demonstrate this video so already I have seen something that I want to have a closer look at next time I am on the SEM. If this is in fact a popped open sphere, uh, then we have another confirmation that the structures are in fact um, shells uh, that can pop open. Look, there's a, there's a sphere here. So maybe when I did this again, uh, I might like to take an even higher resolution version of it. Look at this big sphere up here. Look at that. It's really lovely and maybe people can pick out more detail by changing the contrast or not and um, what you could actually do is I think from a view here you can actually uh, view you can do export images I think there are ways to save as so we can save this particular area here maybe as a TIFF file I don't know um, as a JPEG, PNG, and so forth. So that might actually be the view. So what I might do is go in and is that that really does look like it's a crenellated sphere that's kind of like popped open like a how can we say it? Like like a um 
like a uh, you know a tennis ball that you've cut and then it's just been squished in one plane maybe it's half of one or maybe it's just the whole one that's popped over and it's just I, I just wish I was at the SEM with the sample on it right now to have a look at that anyway um, can we get a better level of contrast on it I don't know that's a bit blowing out over there isn't it that definitely looks like a crenellated but not a sphere <laughs> it's like a crenellated broken sphere so I'll save as and I'll save that as PNG file and uh, open sphere. Okay, he says to actually put it in the right place. Can't save DZ eyed file. Okay, well maybe that's not not something I can do, but I can definitely I can maybe I can take a picture here. Okay, uh, no, that's acquiring an image. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't really know how to use this software other than uh, roaming around it. Uh, but I really do want to save this particular... Oh, well, that just bombed. So it's not perfect. And maybe an open sea dragon would be a better way to do it. But uh, it looked like we had seen a uh, popped open sphere there. So thank you very much for your time. And I will see you in the next video.